Hey fishing friend, JC here with Rad Renly Fishing. In this video, you guys, we're gonna be unboxing the Old Town Sportsman 106 powered by Minn Kota. Yeah, I said Sportsman. It is a new line of fleet of vessels, you guys, that Old Town has released. And also, powered by Minn Kota, yeah, 45 pounds of propulsion integrated electric motor. Yeah, I'll put a link in the description area down below. You can check out the specifications on this vessel. Now I'm gonna get it unpacked. We're gonna take a close up look at assembling this kayak. Then I'm gonna take some time. We're gonna go from front to back, side to side, and top to bottom, and get a good overview of what this vessel has to offer. And we're gonna do that right now. Start taking some of these things out. All right, guys, this thing is super lightweight. You know, we've got our got our storage compartment in there. Let's get this back section unwrapped here. Oh, that came off easy enough. I just lifted it up from down underneath and it popped right off. All right, in the back, we've got our shallow water anchor mount. We've got our XL fishing rudder. It says tight turning radius built in carry handle right here. This right here underneath the bungee strap, that's going to be the filler for where the electric motor goes. So if we're not using the electric motor, we can use that for the filling. we got our nice big well back here with our our bungee strap tie downs. One seat, see what kind of goodies we've got in here. Oh yeah, nice big storage well in here. Wow, would you look at the room in this kayak. Woo! All right guys, let's take a look in the box here. We have complimentary tackle box, way awesome. We got a, a packet of goodies here. We'll have to look at the instructions on that. See what we got going on there. And we also have a prop. I went ahead and opened up this box. Let's go through all the stuff that's in here. This guy right here and this, these two screws, those are going to be for our paddle holder. This guy right here is the kill switch for the electric motor. It's attached to a lanyard. And we have this washer and also this nut right here. That's going to be for attaching the prop to the electric motor. This is a shear pin for the prop. You got an Allen wrench. That's for the lockdowns for the electric motor for uh, making adjustments if they need to be adjusted. Got a little tube of silicone in here. This is for the electrical connections to help to protect them from the elements. Then we got these three guys right here. This kayak actually has built-in areas for running wires. So I'll show you what those are for as well. Okay, guys, we got our two pieces here. This piece with this little ridge is gonna face up and this strap is going to face down from that. On the back side, we've got two little pins, a couple holes and grooves and stuff that that fits into. You can see how that works. But anyway, that gets attached to the kayak that way. Phillips head screwdriver is required for this install. So you pop your paddle in there, grab this, lift it up lock it into place. So let's take a look at this battery case. We've got a one inch strap here that locks the entire thing in place. Okay. So we've got a grid back here. It appears that we're going to be able to lift this battery case up, set it up here. 
you've got a, I think this is a two inch wide strap that actually helps, con that conceals the battery inside of the case. So we undo that with a clip right here. We're gonna put our battery in, connect our, our negative and our positive cables, and then this connection that goes to the kayak, there's a place on the side of the lid where that connector needs to come out. All right, so we're gonna get our battery in there, get it connected, we get our wire running out of the side so we can connect it to the kayak. We've got our, we've got our two inch strap here that's gonna clip the lid tight to the battery case like that. Then we have our one inch wide strap right here that's gonna hold the entire case with the battery in place. We're gonna take that, pull that down nice and tight. So that is good and secure. Coming around to this side, you can see here the ridge on the battery case is facing forward. Old Town label is facing back. We've got the cable coming out of this area. This cable can only be plugged in one way and it's gonna be plugged in right here. This little thing's got a ridge on top of it. Grab that ridge on top of there, pop that thing open. And there's only one way that that plug will go in. It has a slot and a groove. And moving on to where we're going to put the seat in. We've got a plastic clip here that it locks into and one on the other side. Our seat is just going to slide in and lock into those clips like that. Just give them a good, good firm push and they snap into place. The strap for the back of the seat is located right here. It comes over the back seat bar and then the clip area is down here. So the Old Town seats are really easy to adjust. We have this strap area right here. If we grab a hold of this loop, just you can put your finger through a loop and pull on that and that will tighten up that strap. If you want to loosen it and make the adjustment, it's really easy. You just lift up on this tab and you just pull back and it slides back. Let's come up to the front of the kayak. I'm going to show you those built-in wiring areas that I had mentioned where we can run our wires. Um, that's what these little guys were for right here. There's three of them. We've got one on the right side of the boat. We've got one down in this area and one on the left side. So if we're going to run some wires for our fish finder or something else, we would just take out what is what is in there and take off this this top cap comes off. Inside there's a, a foam insert and it's got three slits in it. It's got a nice uh, a separate foam gasket here on the bottom of it to uh, seal it up really good. But you can see see what that looks like on the bottom side. So you can see the grooves there, there, and there. That's where you would run your wires through there. And then we take this guy, put it back down, and then of course screw it on. And then once you screw it on, you can see your you know, however many wires will be coming out, however many holes that you need to use there. But that foam seal will keep the water from getting in there. So let's run through how this would work. If I was installing a fish finder, my transducer wire would come up through the, the scupper hole and then it would run through this wiring section here. And then once I ran the wire through there, it would run through the hole, circle back around, come up through this wiring area and then my fish finder would be attached to the gear track. So I'd be able to mount it on, on either side. These are our rudder control areas. This moves it to the left, this moves it to the right. And we've got these adjustments. You just lift on this and you can adjust them, easily adjust them for the length of your legs on either side. So imagine once, once I get out there and I'm working on this, I'll be able to adjust this. But if I wanted to turn right, I would just push to the right if I wanted to turn left, I would just push to the left. And you can see there how those just automatically work back and forth with each other. Turn that rudder back there. So we have the prop, the washer, the nut, and the cotter pin. I got the cotter pin in there. Now I'm just gonna look on the prop, see where that groove is, slide that on. Next thing is the star washer goes on. And then we got our connecting nut. So our electric motor is going to attach in this area of the boat. See how that fits in there. Then you've got the lockdowns on either side. You just turn those to lock it into place. And we have our electrical cord which connects in this area. So on this electric motor housing we've actually got a little prop stand right here. So what we do is you just take this thing, it's very simple, you just push it down like that and then grab a hold of the handle here 
you lift up on the motor and that little prop stand automatically drops down into a little area right there and it locks into position so it holds that electric motor housing up and out of the way. All right, so if you guys are wondering what this little red thing is for, that's for our safety disconnect for the electric motor. And it just clips on here like that. And then it's attached to a lanyard. And then you attach this guy to your body somewhere. And if you happen to fall out of the kayak, then this guy right here will just pop right off and shut down the electric motor. So it looks like it's going to take two hands to drop this thing down from what I can tell. Um, one hand here on the handle and then one hand down here lifting up the, the little kick stand, little prop stand. And then we're going to lower that down. Once the motor's down, we can lock it into place here with the locking knob. So looking underneath here, it appears that from the bottom of the kayak down to about the bottom of the, the, the fin, it's about one foot from the bottom of the kayak all the way down to there. So. Look at all this room that we have in here with the motor down for standing up and moving around and fighting fish and stuff like that. That is, that is really, really extremely roomy right there. I'm used to having that pedal drive coming up in the middle, so that's totally awesome right there. Let's do a quick rundown of some of the features. We got our drain plug here. We've got our front hatch, which is an easy access with the one hand that just pops right open. We already went over the little wiring things for your fish finder or whatever. You got gear tracks on both sides of the kayak. Coming back here, you've got a storage compartment here, one on that side. In the bottom, you have the no-slip, super grip stuff. Great for standing up in the kayak. You know, we've already been over the rudder uh, controls there. You've got a handle on this side, a cup holder on this side, a handle on that side, and a cup holder on that side as well. You've got your flush-mounted uh, rod holder right here which is actually the rod will be pointed in that direction angled in that direction makes it great for landing fish and also changing rigs and this is your lever for lifting the rudder up and down back here we've got a flush mounted rod holder on the other side a flush mounted rod holder gear tracks here gear track there um, we've got our bungee our big storage well compartment oh my gosh i love all the storage back here then we got our plug when we're not using the electric motor we can pop the plug in there back here we've got our shallow water anchor ready mount here we also have three handles two underneath and one on top coming around over this way we have our paddle holder this is our forward and forward and reverse for the electric motor and then it also has a battery meter built in with it as well Let's take a look at the bottom of this kayak you guys starting in the front we've got this protection area here the transducer universal mount is right here you've got a scupper hole that you can run your wires through the bottom of this kayak has a super nice concave area down here um, designed for extra major stability you guys and uh, that's what the design is for we've got a uh, keel keel protector i guess that's our keel protector back here for dragging this thing around and then we've got our handles that i mentioned back here for carrying the kayak a good look at what she looks like on the bottom side right there all right guys click on the link in the description area below head over to old town check out all the specifications on the sportsman series 106 powered by mancota huge shout out to johnson outdoors and old town for allowing me to be a part of the launch of this new series of fishing vessels i'm so excited to get out there and create some awesome and epic fishing content thanks for coming along you guys thumbs up or appreciate it get out there and go fishing man life is fun live it see ya